Hello, my name is Roger Critcher. We're presently located in Deep Gap, North Carolina. We're producers of green cabbage and also North Carolina Fraser fir Christmas trees. We're presently growing cabbage all the way from the state of Florida to the state of New York. I'm actually a third generation farmer. Uh, my grandfather came and settled here in the early uh, 1900s. And so we have just picked up the ball from that. He started a small farm around uh, 15 to 20 acres. My father precedes me and uh, being a cabbage farmer now I'm following his footsteps. The total number of acres that we presently farm is approximately 5,000 acres of cabbage with a total output of around 3 million pounds of cabbage on an annual basis. Planting of cabbage is determined about the location. You plant your cabbage at around 15,000 plants per acre. From the time of transplanting cabbage to the time of harvest is approximately between 90 and 110 days. Cabbage comes out of a seed bed. We take it to the field, and the field is called a transplant. That's what takes approximately anywhere from 90 to 110 days for that cabbage to mature. As those cabbage begin to mature in those last 30 days, you'll start to see a blue tint come to those cabbages. When we see that blue tint uh, begin to intensify, then we start uh, sending hand inspectors out to start walking the field to see how close we are to actual harvest time. We have really long hours. Sometimes we work from uh, daylight to dusk, depending on if the bad weather is coming in. We can't harvest when it's excessively wet. Many people call it uh, picking the cabbage. We've always called it cutting the cabbage because we take a elongated knife about six to eight inches long, and we cut the cabbage and put it in a cart and the card is brought to a packing facility. From there it's packed into the containers, whatever the consumer wants. On a per person uh, basis per day, we like for an individual to be able to, on the, on the ones who are in the field cutting, around 5,000 pounds per person per day. When a person's a well-trained cutter or a harvester, yes, he is, he's cutting and grading at the same time. That's the first grading process to be done in the field. He visually inspects it with his eyes, and then he also in, inspects it when he puts the knife onto the cabbage and he'll look at the bottom side of it and make sure it's good. And that's, he's cutting the cabbage and putting it into a cart. And then you have another person at the packing shed, they should be able to pack an equivalent amount. So for every two people around 5,000 pounds of cabbage, marketable cabbage per day. it will be trailing into uh, the warehouse, it's pulled into place and then we have what we call packers help it come around it and they uh, visually inspect the cabbage for the second time cabbage for a produce item has a very long shelf life. Even a cabbage that may not look very attractive after you, after you pull the outside leaves, it's still just as tasty, it's just as good, just as nutritious. So uh, a good, fresh, green, crispy look, looking head of cabbage would be the superior, but even though it doesn't look that attractive, it's still an excellent product for consumption. We do a lot of crop rotation. Cabbage can only be grown in this area two years maximum in a row. After two years of growing, cabbage in here, we'll rotate that land out. We won't be back for five years. In uh, the month of January, we start harvesting in the state of Florida. As the season changes, we'll come up to Georgia and harvest in Georgia. When the season is correct, then we go to North Carolina. We harvest there during the summer sessions, and also in the certain parts of summer, we go up into Northern Virginia, all the way up to New York. I've been asked, what's my favorite way of consuming cabbage? I like fried cabbage. That's my most favorite way, and some good cornbread. Makes a good hearty country meal, and that's my favorite way of consuming it. I want to take time to thank everyone for watching this video with us today. I also want to thank Harris Teeter for their continued support for 45 years. We couldn't have done all this without their help and without their support, and we just thank you for that very much.